the Dr. Proctor and the, uh, and the fart powder was inspired by my my daughter. Um, she she always asked me to to, to tell stories, and um, this particular summer she asked me to tell a story that um, uh, she wanted um, a little girl to be in the story and a little boy. The boy had to be uh, uh, shorter and smaller than the girl because she doesn't like big boys that much and um, she also wondered if there could be a dinosaur in it and a mad professor. Uh, I said I'm not sh too sure about the, the dinosaur but uh, I can come up with a pretty mad uh, professor and I also asked her actually I, I more or less begged her if there could be a, some farting in the story and um, she's not uh, so much f fond of farting as I am so uh, she said okay but don't overdo it okay and so I came up with this um, story and it was a really short story um, but it was funny and she loved it and um, uh, a couple of days later I, I thought that this character, uh, this small boy, this really small boy, he's got a sort, sort of an Elvis look, uh, uh, Elvis hairstyle uh, with sideburns, although he's just a small uh, boy uh, and uh, uh, freckles. And uh, I really like that guy. Uh, in, in Norwegian, he's called uh, Bulle. In the English edition, it's uh, Nilly. And I thought that, okay, I have to make a story with this little boy and his friend uh, Lisa and the mad professor Dr. Proctor and uh, he has um, invented a, a powder that makes people fart. It was originally he tried to in invent something that would stop people uh, farting if, for example if they went to, to parties uh, and to funerals and uh, so on uh, but um, um, uh, anyway, uh, Bulle, he comes up with this idea that if you make this powder extremely powerful, um, you can send people to the moon without having to uh, build a rocket. And um, uh, these three people, uh, Dr. Proctor and uh, uh, Nilly and Lisa, uh, they're just uh, beautiful friends and uh, uh, they're sort of lonely people on their own but when they find each other finally they have uh, two friends so it's a story about friendship and they have to overcome some difficulties of course uh, so they more or less have to save uh, the Norwegian national day the 17th of May um, because uh, things happen in the story that uh, will uh, totally destroy the celebration but uh, uh, the, the farting powder will hopefully save the day. After the Dr. Proctor's uh, uh, farting powder was uh, uh, released, uh, the friends of my daughter, they were really impressed with the story you know, and they came to her at school and told, uh, told her that she really loved the story and that they had heard that um, she had been, you know, part of, uh, of the making of the book and uh, she said, yes, I, actually I more or less made up the story, the original story, the really short story that included the dinosaur and uh, the, the book is okay but you know the original story that's just great you know much better than the, than the book. So uh, I sort of um, I've been challenged by her friends you know to tell the original story but I can't remember the original story but uh, actually I, I, I'm not sure it was that great. In the first Dr. Proctor book I I think I really like um, the scene where you have uh, this, um, this, uh, the teacher, uh, Miss Strobe, uh, and she can relate to this little uh, boy who is, uh, you know, he's a fast talker and he's a clever talker and he's a little too smart for his own good. Uh, but uh, this uh, sort of uh, strict and a bit angry and scary teacher she really falls in love with this little boy and she's trying to hide it how much she likes him so uh, she is talking hard to him but she, she she's having a hard time not laughing at him because he's a uh, he's, he's a real funny guy and uh, I like that scene you know this um, this uh, teacher who, who, who tries to, to um, 
save face or it tries to 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 stay angry and uh and serious and uh, this guy who m melts her heart bulle or nilly as he is called in the, in the english edition um he he's a small guy uh, and and he's you know even less than small he's he's really tiny um and um He's a guy who has to use his strong sides uh, to to uh, you know to to compete with the rest and to um, uh, make a place for himself in uh, uh, at school and uh, in the st in the street where he uh, lives uh, and he sort of compensate uh, his tininess with being a really clever talker and a funny guy and uh, you know the. The big boys they don't think and talk as fast as he does so sometimes that gets him in trouble um, but um, uh, most of the times um, it saves the day you know for uh, for himself and uh, for his uh, friends because it's, uh, it's 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 his way you know of uh, of fighting because he's a his little fighter and um, he has a strong sense of uh, what's right and what's wrong on the other hand, he's um, he's not too particular about what methods he uses to get what he wants, and he can't be trusted all the time. Uh, he does tell a lie or two, but uh, but uh, at the end of the day, um, he's um, he's a good guy. He 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 means well. He wants everybody to have a good time and uh, uh you know he's he's the guy you probably want him to win because his um his uh, uh his friend lisa she is she is more you know uh, the nice girl who uh, always tells the truth and uh doesn't uh, exaggerate when she tells stories uh, uh and she's she's nice also but uh, bulle is the he's the charmer you know